gonna put it on. What's up, guys? Liam here, and welcome back to LSJ TV. We have started off today with. The first time I've ever tried it, actually. I've got the brand new, well, not brand new, it's been out for a couple of months now, but it's the first time I've tried it. The chocolate fudge protein within the porridge. You guys have seen me use the chocolate orange protein, and to be honest, this one tastes just as good, but it doesn't mix within the protein as well. So I've, I've yet to try it as a shake, as a protein shake, but within the porridge, it still tastes good, uh, but it doesn't mix as well as the chocolate orange one. I don't know whether that's just the way I've made it or anything like that, but anyway, I'm gonna be answering a few of your questions today whilst going throughout my day. I've got Last Ocean tonight, all that kind of stuff. You'll see that in the next video, but today's gonna be a good one. Drop it a like and a comment down below. Let's get it started. <laughs> Next task of the day, well, first task of the day really, and it's like 12 o'clock, that's pretty shocking, but anyway, this is all of my supplements. It's where they've stayed for the last sort of year, the entire time I've been here, um, and right now I kind of just shoved everything, like the protein bars are here, and you know, everything's kind of not really in a proper place, and so I'm going to give it a little bit of a tidy. I've got some new stuff which is going to have to go here, so it's going to need a bit of a... Bit of a rearranging, let's, let's, let's give it a go. There. 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 No, there. Fuck's sake. There. There, let's go. Okay, so. Let's see, six minutes work, and here we have it. So, we have the selection of proteins, every single flavor that Lean has to offer as of right now. More coming though, stay tuned. We have pre-workouts, BCAAs, there's just some old tubs which look good and part of the display, so I keep them there. The box, which all of, half of this stuff came in. Muscle Moose, you guys know I'm a big fan of Muscle Moose and their products, and that's pretty much it. So, on with the day, I guess. All right, guys, so as promised, focus, focus, God. As promised, I was gonna be answering some of your questions throughout today's video. I'm not gonna actually get through as many as I thought because this is kind of just gonna be a normal vlog as I, as I go along. I've actually got a lot to do today, so there's no point in me sitting down answering a load of questions when I've got stuff to show you guys. So, question number one. Uh, what is your subscriber goal by Christmas? Uh, I mentioned that in my 2018 goals video right at the start of 2018 uh, And that it that was 1500 because I had around about five or six hundred My goal is to always double what I have by the next year and then you know sort of add a little bit on top of that to be a little bit ambitious so I said 1500 but Social Blade, you know the website Social Blade, it's Jack, it's my boy Jack asking this question, so he knows about Social Blade. That website reckons that I can get to around about 2000 by sort of November. So if that could happen, then well, great, you know, great, we're, we're halfway there to, you know, making something happen. That kind of leads on to the next question, what is your end goal in the fitness industry? And to be honest with you, that would be um, right now. I, I wouldn't say I wouldn't say an end. It's an end goal. I wouldn't say I have an, an end goal. I'm only 21. I'm still young. I can do whatever I want with my life. 21 is, you know, a lot older than how you felt as an 18 year old self. But uh, it's still very young in the grand scheme of things. And so I've got my entire life to sort of decide. But. To be honest with you, right now the goal is to make some money in the fitness industry one way or another, whether that's through personal training or online coaching or YouTube or all of the above or just lots of things combined to, to actually make an income, that would, that would sort of be a short term goal, not necessarily a long term goal. But uh, I don't know, we'll see how it goes. Next question, do you have Facebook? Yes, I do, the links for everything, all my other social media is always in the description box, so check them out, give me a like, give me a follow, show some love, It'd be much appreciated. And one last one before I have to go off to town because I'm going to the gym, uh, I'll show you guys that as well. And we're going shopping because it's the last ever ocean tonight, so we're gonna pick up a new costume, maybe, it all depends, but anyway. Uh, one last question is, who's your fitness idol? Um, it's quite hard to say because I don't, have necessarily one idol. My favourite fitness YouTuber is definitely Rob Lipsit. Um, another person in that industry would be sort of, you know, Elliot Hulse. But there's so many people, Arnold Schwarzenegger, it's so hard to just pick one that I can't really. <laughs> Faster than my bullets. 
Next task of the day, send it to the post office, got a couple of packages to drop off uh, of LSJ stuff, and then we're gonna head to the gym. <laughs> Right, I'm off to a barbecue. Oh, do you want to see me with a sword? <laughs> <laughs> Sort of more home gym equipment you find useful. Uh, probably a lap pull down machine, some sort of card, I don't know, something like that. It's, I think it's fine how it is personally. Um, doing any collabs? Uh, yes, John, send me a message, we'll sort something out. Why are you so average? <laughs> Would you ever meet with your subscribers and train? Answer to that is yeah. I would love to do that one day, but I'm a student right now and so kind of My bad. The um, battery on the camera died. I don't know what is going on with the focus today in this video? Anyway, um, the question was would you ever train with your subscribers? Answer is oh my god yes. I would love to do that one day, but what I was about to say is um, the cost of it sort of right now is an issue me getting to other places or other people getting to me a lot of my audience are students as well and so they don't have a lot of spare cash just like i don't have a lot of spare cash to you know travel to wherever to train together it would be great maybe one day when i'm working i have a bit of money but uh right now i'd, I'd love to but just just stay tuned it's gonna happen it's gonna happen one day would you rather never have ketchup again or never go on a night out again that question's from Charlotte, and Charlotte knows exactly what I'll find it impossible to answer because I love ketchup, but I also love going out so much. Um, that one, I just, I, I just can't pick. I mean, if I never had ketchup again, I'd have to find some sort of replacement because, like, especially the reduced sugar, reduced salt one, there's a new one which has got virtually no calories in it. But nice out, man. Uh, I mean, I, 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 I can't, I, I can't pick. But to never have one again, like, never, not, not even once or twice a day. Oh, I don't know. I don't. I don't know. I want ketchup and cider. All right. I, 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 I can't. I can't. Whilst we're on the subject of nights out, though, I mentioned in the last video about the tread principle that I made up and follow uh, in order to kind of stick to my fitness goals whilst going out and having a good time and all that kind of stuff. Uh, let me know if you want me to do a dedicated video towards that. Drop a comment down below. Um, because I think it's a very helpful sort of principle that I made up and a lot of you guys could probably benefit from it being students yourselves. So let me know if you want me to do a sort of in-depth sort of not tutorial, what would be the word, in-depth sort of, I don't know, walkthrough of it or something like that. Also, I've already mentioned that tonight is the last ever ocean as a student and so that means the last ever dressing up night. We did actually go to Lovey Babes, that's where we ran into Jake earlier um, and decided not to because costumes are expensive, man. Like I just said about the travel, costumes are a little bit too expensive and so we're going to go with something we already have, which is none other than a Trent army costume. I am a Trent army patriot and so I thought last ever ocean, last ever chance to dress up for it, why not go with the Trent army theme. So anyway, that'll do for now. I'm going to jump in the shower, grab some food and then answer a couple more questions and round it off. Oh, the footage for Dot and Ocean will be in the next video. So you guys know how much I love both of them. So stay tuned for that. I know I've already said it once or twice. I just want to make it clear. Um, yeah, stay tuned. <sighs> Not done that shot for a while. Right, so. I wanted to finish off today's video with a couple more quick fire questions and they would be one that comes up every single time I do a Q&A, what's going on with the lighting? Right, that'll have to do. So uh, the next question is, 
Favourite muscle group to train? Uh, this gets asked every single time I do a QA, and a every single time I, uh, I get asked it quite a lot on DMs and comments, everything. So I thought I'd address it again because I get asked it all the time. Favourite muscle group to train? Shoulders. Without a doubt, uh, my genetic sort of strong point, they are miles ahead in strength and size uh, than a lot of other muscle parts on my body. So definitely shoulders. And the last question and the topic of today's video, would you ever, it's asked two or three times actually, would you ever take steroids? The big fat S-bomb. That's right guys, I dropped it. No. No, I would not. Let me tell you why. There's so many pros to it in terms of if you want to be a pro bodybuilder, if you want to, you know, make a living off of how you look and all of this kind of stuff. There's so many sort of pros to it. But the cons just outweigh it by a ton, if you ask me. I mean, the, the health problems you get, I mean, you have to pay for them. In fact, forget everything else. It's the health problems. No. I like everything the way it is. I like my body to deal with how my body works. I don't want any outside things unless it's been given to me by a doctor because I'm ill. I don't want anything to affect how my body works. Just no. I will look good in 10 years time in the same amount of time that a person who's on steroids will look good in one year's time. But that's okay because I've done it the natural way. I've done it the right way. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'll look at that person and think, oh, fuck. But that does not mean that I will ever do it. And I've always said never. Like, I want to compete one day in a classic physique competition and people are like, oh, so you're going to jump on or jump on this. and I'm like, no, mate. And they're like, oh, why not? You're going to do I'm just like, because I don't want to. Like, the people don't seem to understand that... The negatives to it and and uh, i mean fair enough that's their decision they're adults as well and if they want to do it then go for it but don't try and force me to do it sort of thing you, you know i'm going to compete in a tested competition so that if i get beat i got beat not i don't want to compete in an untested competition and then get beaten and be like well yeah i got, I got beat by him he's on steroids do you, do you see what i'm trying to say um but anyway that's kind of just a a, a quick take on it i could go on for an entire video to be honest with you and i probably could have done today but I chose not to for a number of reasons but that ladies and gentlemen is going to round off today's video I want to thank you guys so much if you have made it this far it's been a long one I've done a Q&A but not quite done a q and a is it's uh, I, I don't know let me know if you enjoyed it let me know if you didn't enjoy it and um, yeah that's that guys so thank you so much for watching I'm about to get ready for the last ever ocean it's going to be a good night one last dive into the dive that is ocean if you know, you know. You guys will be able to see that in the next video, so stay tuned for that. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for that content, guys. Like if you enjoyed this one, like if you're gonna enjoy the next one, just share it with your friends, share it with your brother, your sister, your nan, your dog. Spread the word, and the LSJ family will grow together. We will grow, guys. So thank you so much once more for watching. Again, drop your comments down below. See you guys in the next video.